wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, as I've mentioned, have taken foreign service officers out of their uh, usual career paths and put many of them uh, into the field to do uh, work at a local level in building political and uh, political institutions, primarily economic uh, institutions as well. Um, working very closely with the U.S. military, working with uh, USAID, working with NGOs, but particularly with the U.S. military, and developing uh, uh, new relationships with the military uh, under very difficult conditions, in which the military is providing security for the civilians. Uh, that relationship with the U.S. military uh, is uh, perhaps a, a major change in the Foreign Service that, that's going to persist even if, in fact, the U.S. does not repeat the Iraq and Afghanistan experience in the future. The effort to, to maintain a close relationship between uh, the diplomats and, and the military, that effort is certainly going to continue. Uh, it's been a real struggle in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, to build confidence on both sides, but uh, I think it's safe to say that a lot of progress has been made.